hey y'all welcome to my channel it's bb here i do fashion and beauty videos if you're new and if you're a turning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch another video so today i'm finally going to be doing a full brand review on say beauty i think i have one item of almost all of their products and most of them were gifted to me by the brand and i did purchase some myself so i'm really excited to go ahead and get into this in-depth brand review i will be applying all the products to my face so let's go ahead and get started i went ahead and color corrected under my eyes with the color science total eye 3-in-1 Renewal Therapy. This has an SPF of 35 in it and I have mine in deep. This is a peach color corrector as you can see here and it has this nice cool cooling applicator here. I did get this sent to me from the skin store as a gift and I do have a 25% off code that you can use on this brand and a lot of other brands on the website. I have been shopping from the skin store for years and it's pretty cool to now be an affiliate with them so yeah let's go ahead and get into the first say product so here i have the glowy super gel from say in the shade star glow this is their illuminating hydrating priming product i purchased this myself when i got my first couple items from say and i really like this product it's a lightweight and hydrating jelly type of consistency and i just use about two pumps and put that all over my face I won't put it under my eyes because I've already color corrected there. So I really like this product because it's nice and lightweight. It gives you a nice hydrated feel on the skin and really does prep your skin for makeup. And I wear this product by itself sometimes. I think it's really pretty. And it does have a light floral scent to it just in case you're sensitive to fragrances. It does go away and dissipate but I did want to mention that. Next, I have here probably their most popular product, which is the Slip Tint. When they first came out with it, it was actually called the Slip Cover. And I got this a while ago, pretty soon after it launched. And this is in the shade 7. They have recently redone some of the shades, including shade 7 and added shades in between. So they now have 14 shades. I think they initially had 9 in the initial launch of this product but as you can see I really love this product I actually mentioned it in my skin tint ratings video that I'll link here for you so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and I'll take about two pumps that's what it looks like there and I usually just apply this product with my hands because I feel like it applies best that way this isn't the best match for me but I like this product enough that I make it work and it does kind of settle down and match my skin a little bit better but I am excited to see what the new 7 looks like. They told me on Instagram that they brightened it up a bit and I think that's definitely what it needed because it does look a little too neutral but as you can see it does blend in well and this is a sheer to light product so you can kind of get away with this on a wider range of skin tones than you would in a medium coverage or full coverage product so that's what it looks like right now and i really like this product because it's not too dewy but it's not matte either it's kind of an in-between natural dewy finish on my skin and i do have more normal to combo skin it leaves a really nice and healthy glow on the skin. My lips are feeling a little dry and I forgot to put on the Say Beauty Liquid Lip Balm. And on their website, this is described as a not quite a lip gloss, not quite a lip balm. And I definitely agree with that. It gives you that cushiony lip balm feel, but it kind of gives you a little bit of a slip like a lip gloss would. But it also doesn't make your lips super glossy, as you can see here. I keep this in my purse, so I had to pull it out for the video. But yeah, I really like this product. Thoroughly enjoy this one from Say as well. Pretty much everything that I've put on my face so far are favorites from the brand. And they actually don't have a concealer, so I'm going to go on with my current concealer that I've been using since I've tried it for, what, over a year now, which is the Kosas Concealer, one of my favorites. I'm just going to put a little bit of the shade 7.5 right here in the inner corner of my eye. And at the end a little bit. 
I feel like my under eyes are looking a bit darker than they normally do. I'm not sure what it is or if it's just because I'm losing my tan. My skin is getting more noticeably dull looking. Just going to pat that in. I'll probably put on a little bit more, honestly, because like I said, my under eyes are looking a little dark to me lately. Now I'm going to take 8, which is a little bit deeper than 7.5, and use that to just conceal in some areas where I'm experiencing some discoloration. I still have quite a bit of discoloration around my mouth from the mishap I had with the Nair product. So I'm going to use it there and on a couple of blemishes I have. Say Slip Tint is a light coverage product, so it's not going to really cover up blemishes you'll have to go in and spot conceal um when i want a more refined look i do go in and spot conceal but when i wear that product on a daily basis i do not normally add more concealer but i'd rather use a light coverage product and go in and spot conceal where i need more concealer these days i just i'm liking that lighter base Say Beauty also doesn't have a setting powder, so I'm going to go in with the Kosa's Cloud Set in Cushiony. They just sent me this not too long ago, so I'm still trying it out. But so far, I think I'm really going to like this product. So I'm just going to use this to set more heavily under the eyes just to reduce creasing and then lightly all over the face. Now for my newest favorite product from the brand. This is the Say Sun Melt Bronzer in Deep Bronze. I have a full review on this product. I'll link it here for you. So I'll keep it short and sweet for this video. I really like this bronzer. It gives you a nice buildable coverage and it's not too dewy. It's not too matte. It's kind of in the middle. I'd say a natural finish on the skin. You can really build this up. And I feel like the shade range is pretty good. It has four shades in it and it goes pretty deep. This is the third deepest shade and I will swatch it right here on my arm for you. It does look super, super deep here on my arm, but you can share this product out and you can apply it with your fingers like this if you want to. And I already actually have a little bit on the brush as well. So I dipped the brush into the bronzer a couple more times and I'm going to apply around my forehead here and over here and as you can see once i'm blending this product in you can see how it kind of shears out and just looks like a really natural bronzy look on the skin there is the bronzer applied as you can see it leaves a really nice natural finish on the skin it does look kind of dewy over here Probably just because of my light, but it's not it's not very dewy when I touch it. Next, I'm going to go in with the Say Dew Blush in Poppy. And I purchased this product when I bought the bronzer. This is what the doe foot applicator looks like. It's very thick and chunky. This product is super, super pigmented. Like, I have to go in with the smallest, smallest amount. I don't know if I'll ever finish this right here. It's just a lot of product. So... I feel like when I apply it with the doe foot applicator, I get too much product. So what I'm going to do is just put some on the back of my hand. That's what we have here. And I'm just going to go in with this brush. This is the e.l.f. Putty brush. And I have this much product on. I already feel like this is too much. <laughs> just because this product is super pigmented and it, it's not the easiest blush to work with because... Yeah, I just feel like I get too much color. Do get a lot of color payoff, which is good, but for some people where liquid blush is like new to them or they may not be well versed in it, it can probably come off to be a little bit intimidating. So just wanted to let you know, but I do really like this color and it is definitely more on the dewy side. I would say this is probably the product that I use least from the brand. And I don't know if it's just because the application process is not like the easiest and most straightforward. And if that's why I just kind of don't reach for the product. And plus, I feel like this color is about to be out of season for me. This is definitely more of a summer, spring, summer type of 
color. Now for highlight, I have here the Say Du Balm in Lilac. I just realized that quite a few of their products have the word Du in it. <laughs> this is just like a lilac purpley shade of highlight and I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand, rub it in and use my ring finger to apply it. I haven't used this product that much. This is definitely newer to me from the brand, but I was pleasantly surprised to like this consistency. I don't like super balmy highlights. I just don't like them to feel like slippery on my skin and I like for them to last long. So I was um, surprised with this one as it's like a dew blush, but it's not like too, too balmy and it's not like too slippery or anything like that. I probably wouldn't have gone for this shade if I bought it, but they did send me this one. So it's not bad, but I feel like this is gonna be out of season soon too, since it's more of that lilac purpley kind of spring highlight. So now we're gonna get into the Say Brow Butter in Clear. They did send this over to me. It has a very, very tiny brush head. And I feel like if I would have purchased this, I would have gotten the tinted one. I wouldn't have picked the clear just because I like for a brow product to have some tint to it if it's going to be a brow gel. And I haven't really used this product that much. I just feel like, I don't know. I just haven't used it that much, but I like that I can just put it on my brows like this. And kind of use it as almost like a brow wax since it is a brow butter and I can just lay my my brows down to me this product doesn't really stand out um, in the brand and not something I really reach for here's another product that I really just don't reach for from the brand which is their mascara and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that for you this is what the brush looks like it's kind of wide and round. The tip of it has these little spikes that kind of stick out, if you can see. So definitely a unique brush head and not like one I've seen in any other product before. I need to use this mascara more. I haven't used it that many times, maybe like four or five times, and it really didn't wow me, but I just applied two coats, and I really like how it looks with two coats. I like that this mascara does give you lift and separation. It's not gonna give you a lot of volume, but it will separate the lashes and kind of lift and plump them up, so I do like this on my more natural mascara days. So I'm gonna start using this more. For the last product, I'm gonna go in with their really great gloss in the shade Sweet. This is like a light berry. Now that I have on pretty much a full face of Save Beauty, I'm definitely getting those more dewy vibes that I feel like the brand kind of gives off and portrays in not only the names of their products but in their marketing and how the products are applied on their models and photographed and things like that i really like how everything looks i do have some favorites and i do have some that i feel like are not as good as others so let's go ahead and recap all these products for their priming and base product, I really enjoy both of these. These were my introduction products to the brand, and I'm really glad that they were because I love them. They're both really great. I'm excited to see what the new shade in 7 looks like. I feel like if you try anything from this video, I definitely recommend these two and the bronzer, which I'm going to go into next. So again, I have mine in the shade Deep Bronze, and this works really, really well for my skin tone. They have three other shades, and I feel like it's a really easy bronzer to work with. You can sheer it out, you can build it up. So yeah, I really like this and would recommend from the brand. If you can get your hands on the brush, I definitely recommend that too. I just feel like their bronzer applies best with their brush, of course, but you can use this for other products like applying blush or maybe even foundation if you want more of a full coverage look. So really like their brush, really great quality as well. And for the blush, 
I like the blush. I feel like it's really pigmented though and it's kind of hard to work with if you're not well versed in liquid cream blushes. And um, I feel like they could have some more shades in this range too. Just like some more colors added to the line um, just to make it more appealing to other people. So yeah, it's not my favorite product, um, but I don't hate it either. It's just kind of like neutral for me. As for the highlighter, I do like this product a lot more than I thought I would. That's why I never purchased it just because I wasn't sure if a balmy product like this was gonna be right for me and what I look for in a highlighting product but they did send this over to me and I actually really do like this formula I probably would have went for their more champagne or gold ones but yeah I really like the highlighting product from them and for the brow and mascara I think the packaging is really cute on these. I love the sleek, the sleek black packaging with the lilac name here. I probably pass on the brow butter just because it doesn't really stand out to me in the realm of eyebrow products, eyebrow gel products. It just really doesn't wow me enough to really say that this is like one of my favorites. As for the mascara, the mascara did surprise me. I like this. I felt like it was going to give me like a super natural lash, but this actually does give you a like a oomphed up natural lash. It really pushes the lashes up and separates them and makes them kind of wispy and almost fairy looking. I really like this. So yeah, I would recommend the mascara and I'm really excited to continue using it. As for their lip gloss product, I like this. I feel like it looks good on the lips. It feels good on the lips, but I just feel like the shade range could have some more variation to it. Um, I'm not a huge lip gloss person. I just recently started getting into lip glosses more so this year and they did send this over to me and I do like this color, but the other shades that they sent were just too light for me. So I feel like they need to add some more variation and deeper shades in the lip gloss lineup. So those are all my thoughts and the full brand review on Say Beauty. If you have any questions for me, please leave them below. If this video was helpful for you, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I hope you're already subscribed. If not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd be happy to have you. I hope you're all well and I'll catch you next time.